Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included where it's been about five minutes since I recorded the last episode. <laughs> I am just continuing on because I'm that just excited and eager to keep playing. Right, Microbe Musher, I want to put you down there. Uh, we're going to continue rearranging things. Um, yeah, tell you what, we're going to keep moving our wiring around as well. I want to try and get like full circuits going around everything. So let's just get that going. We're gonna delete the micro musher from up here. Um, Cause I want to put another restroom in here as well. Why have you guys not gone about building that unreachable tile? Apparently, okay. Let's put another ladder in there, and we'll start deleting. Um, oh, wait. Let's get start deleting these bits. We don't need all of that stuff in. But our quality of air is looking rather nice. Um, why why are you not getting to this? I've asked for this to be deleted. Let me put in a ladder over this way. Hopefully you'll be able to jump. That's probably what it is. You haven't been able to jump over there to get to it. Now, for research, I want to quickly try and get jobs research. Because if I can make a jobs board then I can start assigning specific roles to certain people. And that's going to make things rather good when it comes down to uh, getting specific tasks done. Put tiles in here. Ooh, Ashcan, you need to move. You're in the wrong spot, mate. Um, move, move. Oh, you can't even move now. Oh, you good. Can. Good, 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 good. Uh. <laughs> Oh, Catalina, why did you put yourself there? You silly, silly sausage. Right, let's um, sweep up all this. I want to go and claim everything that's in this area first. Are you still in a sterile... You're not in a sterile atmosphere at the moment, are you? You're kind of going back and forth a little bit. Pollution exposure. Probably from all the, uh, the polluted water that's around here. And you're kind of bouncing back and forth between sterile atmosphere and polluted and bleh. We'll fix it. We'll fix it, give it time. Yeah, the muck root that we've got stored in here. It's not good. Uh, well, what about all my mush bars? Where have they gone? They're not being stored down here, are they? Let's see, it. Let's get some more of these mixed, made up. Get some more food available for people. Uh, so let's do that. Let's just close that off. Need to get this thing finished. Oh God, Ellie, what are you doing over there? You're gonna die. Come on, there you get. There you go. God. Some of these duplicates are just dumb. They really are. I don't know what they're doing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to delete that bit there, and I want to deconstruct that. I'm going to bring ladders up this way. I think it's time to get rid of this pitcher pump. We need to start focusing on bringing this water supply down. Uh, we're going to put a liquid pump in down on this bottom corner. And that is going to have an output that's going to come along here, and then go like this. So we're going to have clean water is going to funnel along the left-hand side of the ladders, and alternating floors. So we'll have this floor, and then this floor underneath the bedrooms here, is going to be for the clean water, and then polluted water is going to funnel back out in the uh, the in-between floors. Uh, so alternating floors will have clean water, polluted water, and then left-hand side for clean, right-hand side for polluted. I I've got it all figured out. I've got, a I've got a plan. I just hope it's going to work. <laughs> I mean, in, in previous practice, it's worked. I just need to keep up with it. Um, in fact, I'm just going to preemptively load this with um, storage bins. 
loaded up like that. Because the amount of sandstone that we've, we've just got piling up everywhere is ridiculous. We need to do, find somewhere to put it. And I really want to try and do something to look out for these buggers before their health completely plummets. Ashcan is not looking great. He's, he's down to two-thirds of his immune system. Or his immunity at the moment. Yes, we've got we've got germs fucking everywhere. It's, it's nasty. Germophobes would not be happy with this little station right now. And more than anything, we need somewhere to put the uh, all of the polluted water. So once I'm done sorting out this reservoir, I need to sort out another one for for polluted water to go into, which might just go beneath all of this, and then we'll sort out a um, uh, kind of recycling uh, purification system for everything. But we certainly won't need quite as large a reservoir f for uh, polluted water. So it probably won't need to occupy three floors like this one is. We could probably get away with just two. I'm going to start issuing all the orders for this stuff. Slightly higher. Uh, we'll put these terrariums at a seven as well. Uh, all the storage stuff can go in at a six. Just to get them done. Okay, we're at a good stop. Good point right now, so let's remove these. Uh, I'm going to need to put in a new pitcher pump. Doesn't have... Right, so... If I were to put you around about here... Your pipe would reach all the way to the bottom, because it won't extend further than that. Where you see the bottom of the pipe on the, the blueprint. It won't extend further than that, that point, so we need to make sure... Oh, God, yes, I need to remember I need to power the pump as well, don't I? So we need to bring wiring over this way, plug you in. Right, these are all going to be for sandstone, so we'll just copy the settings, apply them, and we'll even copy over the priority if we can. Yep, yeah, that copies over. Good. Um, that's all sandstone. That's organic, so that's algae, eggshells. Eggshells? Rot pile? What the hell's a rot pile? Don't know if I've come across that. Uh, I'm going to deconstruct you. You are metal ore and consumable ore, so that's coal and copper. You can stay. And uh, we're going to deconstruct that one as well. I'm going to shift all of our sandstone storage over here. Hopefully the uh, these little guys will go about clearing up some of the mess as well, but we're going to be doing a massive sweep job once we get all of this space cleared, just so that we can uh, completely clear everything out, essentially. Oh yeah, they're going on a massive cleaning spree right now. Bloody brilliant. Well, I suppose I do kind of want the priority on all of this stuff, so let's just set all of this to eights just to get it done. And then pitch a plump in wherever I can get it. Yeah, if I put it there, that will reach down to the bottom. So, okay. I still need to clear this one out, so we'll destroy that one. Plunk. Shove you there. Uh, we're going to deconstruct this outhouse. Get that out of the way. And we are nearly ready to move all this stuff over. So we're going to just sort that out there. And we're going to deconstruct this one. Along with these little bits of ladder. And then we will be sealing this whole thing, we're going to seal the entire thing up and then we're going to let the flood fall in Ooh, we've got some more research done, that is the jobs board, fantastic let's go for, right now that's the water cooler which is good for morale jobs board wants to go here, right next to the printing pod where we do have duplicates available but I'm, ooh anemic, gastrophobia, so you're not great with your athletics you can't cook. You consume less oxygen than everybody else. And you've got increased strength. You're good for building and supplying. Ooh, Nisbet, I think we will have you. Yes, please. 
Um, I'm going to issue another 10 mush bars for um, an order, order of food. And I've put in a load of piping constructions as well. Yeah, food is now very much a needed thing. Um, but hopefully we will soon be able to finish sorting out all of this reservoir stuff. Which is going to be needed because that outhouse has got one visit remaining before it needs cleaning and everybody else is just going to piss themselves. It's not good. Alright, do I want to do any more research before I shut this whole thing down? Getting ventilation and pressure management could be good things to get started with. But I think first off... And there's also internal combustion. But no, I think for now, I think the research table can go... I'll deconstruct that, along with, um, where's my power thing? I don't think I'm going to need any power lines to come through this way, so let's just get rid of the power, the, the wires in there, because I need to replace that with plumbing stuff, because this is going to be a new restroom. Oh, okay, nice, we're all done over here. Let's put in the remainder of this wall, and then we can start. Uh, we're going to, like, cancel that initially. We can start digging out all of this. I'm going to be very careful to come up and over all of the uh, the stuff that's around this way. So I need to come down so that I can break through and let everything drop down. Oh, I forgot to sweep everything. Oh, that was silly. Okay, yep, shit I need unclogging now, so we'll set that to an 8 just to make sure that happens. Right, come on, let's get everything in place. Let's get all of this stuff done. Hurry the fuck up. Let's get the uh, the jobs board built as well. That's very important. Along with all of this stuff. I'm hoping that when I break through into this, it's not going to all spill out over this way, but uh, we'll see. Now that we don't have any water access at the moment, we are... Like, all of our algae terrariums and stuff are running out of water. Which is not good, um, but jobs board. Let's assign somebody as a chef, a sous chef. Do we have anybody? Um, oh God, everybody's morale is crap. But you guys, but Catalina and Jean have got uh, interests in cooking, so. Catalina, you can do that. Let's have a look at the miner. Okay, Ellie. You have an interest in digging, so you can be my miner. Nisbet can be my builder. And Ashcan, you can be my gopher, so you're my supply guy. That will do for now. We'll assign jobs to everybody else uh, as and when we need to sort that out. For now, what we need to sort out is all of this ridiculous construction stuff that is currently going on. So I'm going to put in a lavatory, a shower, and where is a sink? I'm going to put those in. Oh, in fact, before we go about breaking through into all of this, let's bring a ladder down this way. Because you guys can go and finish digging all of this stuff out. If I'm sneaky about this, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be, I might be able to try and clear up a lot of the mess that's down here uh, before getting on with everything else. So let's see what we can do. How are we doing on oxygen? We're okay for oxygen, which is good. Um, how are we for food? I think we are lacking food. We've got we've actually got zero food available. So, as opposed to faffing about with all that, that can go down to a six. Um, we're just gonna have to break through into all of this. So we'll bring a ladder over. You guys can just tear into this. The so water can come down, and you guys can just get to get to grabbing all the water that we need for making all the stuff. And then, yes, down here, we'll turn this into 
a, a nasty water thing. Oh, bugger, yeah, they spilled, broke into, fuck's sake, you absolute idiots. Well, I mean, I suppose that's fresh water that can go off to foodstuffs and everything, isn't it? Just pick it all up and, like, mop it before it gets polluted. Blithering idiots. But we do have some water going off to our freshly hooked up sinks, and, or this little washroom area. It's not getting anywhere to output all of its bad water, though, so... Yeah, it's not going to be great for the time being, but... It's fresh water that can be sent off to various places. It's all devoid of... Uh, there's no contamination in it or anything at the moment, so... It should help to improve people's hygiene. Um, I'm also going to break into this. And we'll start setting things up down the bottom here. Oh, we've got some stuff that's a miner only dig. We've got obsidian and granite. Hmm. That's cool. Alright, I have a rough idea of where things are going for this polluted water reservoir. Let's uh, prioritize some of this. Set that to a seven. You guys can put in the foundation so that we can get the uh, the pump and everything in place. Uh, I will bring down some power for this thing. Let's just coil that all the way around. Uh, the pipe needs to come out this way. And then we need another pipe going in over this way. And then we need to start putting in these liquid bridges, which are rather cool little uh, constructs or little bits of tech that you can use for getting pipes to work around each other. They don't have to. They don't connect. So it's it's kind of like a, a divergent pipe thing that kind of wiggles around. Uh, you're going to come down this way, not connect with the clean water pump. And you're going to go like that, and then we want another one in there. Oh god, you can see the colour of this polluted air as well, it's just nasty. It's not good. Once we can set this up, it will make things a little bit better for everybody, because we won't have um, all these bottles of polluted water lying around just making everything stink. But we can't purify the air just yet. Um, Ashcan's immune system is improving though. We're starting to remove some of the filth from the place. This, this washroom is looking particularly ick. Um, yeah, the, these can't operate until their out pipe, output pipes can empty. Uh, oh, we're going to have some more sandstone in this. Copy the settings there. This, these two top row, these two rows here, are going to be just sandstone, I think. Just because we end up with so much of the stuff, so much, so much of what we what we build is going to be made of it. Uh, yeah, you're working in a very CO2 heavy environment right now, aren't you? It's not good, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your pain. It is necessary at the moment, I'm afraid. We need this stuff done. Yeah, this this water has not improved in quality. The, the germs have just grown. I thought they were diminishing, but no, they're just not having any of it. Oh god, we've got starvation. That needs to be at an 8. You people need to be putting a priority on food. Oh, we can't have people starving. That's really bad. You've got buildings lacking resources. You're in insufficient water. That's an unreachable build. Well, you people need to be prioritizing various different things. You've got a lot of work to do, and you're not doing it in the right order. Let's put that back in. We can blockade this. And eventually just get around to sorting everything out. Right, we, right, we need to prioritize this. This needs to go up to an eight. So come on, get on it. There we go. Now you've got the freedom to move. The freedom to move is is best. It means you can get things done. But watch out, because you dig all that stuff out and you're just going to get f drenched. Hooray, we have water once again. Somebody get to cooking. Somebody get to making mush bars quickly. Here comes the flood. Oh, there it goes. 
<laughs> oh, look at it go. Well, there we go. We got ourselves a reservoir. Full of fresh, clean water. That should keep us going for a little while. We should be good. Uh, new duplicates are available. I will check that in a moment. But what I'll probably do, before I completely seal all this off, um, I might... No, I, I was thinking I might drain all of this down into the reservoir as well, but I think it might be uh, a little too much for the time being. I th let's have a look at duplicates. I think, considering the food supply at the moment, I think I'm going to reject all. We haven't got anybody who's... Ooh. Ooh, you're good at cooking. You, you consume a lot of air. No. Reject all. Okay, everybody's asleep. I'm hoping people aren't going to die of starvation just yet. We'll see how things go. Okay, nobody's dead yet. Which is good. Uh, I'm going to set this to a priority 9 so that we have... Um, as much food available as possible. So somebody should always be making food. Uh, if somebody can get over to the... Oh, it's an unreachable build. Okay. Let's get a uh, another ladder over this way. Yeah, I know we're at starvation, but we're, we're slowly getting food available for people, so... We should be able to manage. Let's just... Let's just keep going the best we can. Teetering on the edge of starvation at the moment. <laughs> okay, I'm also going to issue orders for people to start digging into this stuff. We'll cancel that, and we want to dig straight down here. Start tearing up some of this stuff. Let's put in uh, some ladders just to help out with some of this. Oh, you fools. Right, priority eight. I want to get rid of these. I want this water to fall into the reservoir, not get stuck behind a wall. Foolish people. Foolish little, uh, little duplicates. You're doing the wrong jobs. There we go. That's better. Um, I'm going to set a priority five, priority six sweep on all this. You guys get to get to sweeping all that up as and when you can. There's no massive rush for it. Mostly because I know you're going to be disgruntled when you go down there and you get all wet and cold and you start whinging. I'm going to set this to a an eight. We're going to start cooking up some mush fry. It'll be interesting to see how much that is going to improve the quality of food for everybody. Fingers crossed it's going to be better than mush bars. Right, the rest of that doesn't appear to want to go anywhere, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mop this, if people can get to it. Um, might need to put another ladder in over there. And then we're going to dig up the remainder of this stuff. Put in a ladder up here, so we can get to the rest of this. Uh, we have unreachable food. Who can not reach food? Why can you not reach food? Is that because there is no food for you to reach? That's probably part of the problem. But we're not at starvation levels right now, so that's... Better than nothing. I am seeing a lot of seeds lying around though, so we need to start getting around to doing some sort of farming stuff. Oh, we're back to the starvation again. Great. Catalina, you are stressed. Why are you stressed? Daria, hungry, grimy. Stress. Sleeping on floor. Yes, I can imagine that's not particularly particularly good, is it? Um, I need to sort you out a bedroom. Right, what tiles do I currently have available? I've got mesh. So I can enclose these rooms. So we're going to turn these into some actual bedrooms. 
Um, they'll be they'll only be listed as like barracks at the moment because they're not going to be the best quality. Um, eventually, I want to make them. I want to make some top-notch accommodation for my little duplicates. Get them feeling right at home. But you can check what rooms you have. So here we go. We've got barracks, which provide a plus one to morale to whoever's assigned to that room. Right, can you go and sweep all that? You can. Good. And we're going to bring ladders up even further up this way. And along there. And I think what I'm going to do is f here... This will end up being a corridor, so we're going to have like a little corridor space so that people can just kind of like run across. Um, I'm probably going to open end the uh, the storage area so that people can run across, and we've got easy access across that way. Over this side is going to be a little bit more, a little bit more difficult. Um, yeah, you, 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 I know you don't like gathering things from in there. It's not nice, is it? Um, let me dig that stuff up so that we can just kind of clear out the rest of this water. That would be nice. And we're going to dig all that out. Dig out all this stuff. Oh god, I know it's not nice in that atmosphere, is it? It's all CO2. It's horrible. God, look at the state of that. Air. Why is the why is that not working? There's no power. Nobody's working the uh, working the generators at the moment. Hmm. That's an issue. Yeah, food shortage because there's no power. Right, there we go. Back, get back to it. Good. Uh, actually, no, that's fine. That's kind of where I want that water to go anyway, so... Ugh. Swings and roundabouts, I suppose. Not the, not the ideal solution, but it'll do. Uh, you really need to dig yourself out there, because you're going to drown. <laughs> oh no, you can climb out. Ugh. Well, that's, that's lucky. Lucky for you. Right, let's clear out all of this remaining stuff then. Uh, what's the priority on all that? Uh, let's set this lot to an 8 so the majority of it drains out this way. We should be alright. The annoying thing is this is all classed as just regular water, it's not classed as polluted. Despite the fact that it's full of germs. And we're at starvation again. How did we get through all those mush bars? Who knows? Right, so this requires one mush bar for each mush fry. Okay. Mm. Really need... Oh god, somebody made a mess. <sighs> Really don't need that right now. Come on, priority eight. Let's get that cleaned up. So what's the issue? Oh, the outhouse is completely blocked. And the toilet doesn't have an output at the moment. Mm, not great. Oh, why would you do that? Oh, they made a mess and they peed in the clean water. I can't, I can't clean that. I can't get rid of that. Oh, I've really not thought this through. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, I think everybody's going to be getting sick very, very quickly. There was my wonderful plan for getting a nice, organized thing all sorted. And why are you up there? Why have you just... You people are idiots. You people are absolute idiots. You go and mop this mess up, and then I'll let you out, alright? I don't even know what to do with these duplicates at the moment. I really don't. Who's suffocating? Where? Oh, it was you. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Please don't... Uh, Nisbet has died. And she is now going to be rotting inside one of our water supplies. Uh, 
that's that's just a bad day. That is a very bad day. Uh, right. Well, this this could have gone better. Today has not been a great. This has not been a great start. Well, I say a great start. Oh god, I'm nearly at the end of this episode. This uh, recording. God damn, I did not even notice. Um, insufficient oxygen generation. And he's a bit suffocated to death. Yes, I'm aware. <sighs> Rest in peace, Dean Nisbet. Right, we need to clear out all of this stuff. Oh. At least everybody's immune system's back to 100%. I suppose that's something. But okay, we've got an output for all of our plumbing. Uh, Alright, uh, I need to finish this up really bloody quick. Oh, still suffering with starvation issues and... Uh, yeah, Th things have not gone particularly well here at the, at the, uh, the Super Saucepan. I think not getting a water supply sorted out immediately really kind of hampered progress for us. Which is not great. It's really caused issues right from the get-go. And we are now struggling, um... I mean, it all boils down to... like, my coming into this with absolutely no knowledge and then spending a week solid playing it. Uh, I want to I wanna see if I can do anything possible to salvage this. This water supply is completely ruined. Um, this one, even worse. Look at the state of that. Good God. Um, let's get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. And we're going to quickly plug this right up. Like so. Now, I was going to put a sink in here so that clean water from here could go to washing people's hands when they come in and out of this area, but I don't think there's going to be any point to that now. Hmm. I did want to put a ladder in there, but oh, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm meant to be, what I'm going to do with regards to this now. Um, I think a research station could be a good uh, investment. We'll get back to researching some stuff. We can maybe try and research our way out of. Oh God, there, puffed prince. <laughs> okay. Hi. How are you doing? You are weird creatures. You thrive in polluted ox polluted atmospheres, apparently. Uh, yes, you guys are now going to be uh, washing your hands and showering in polluted waters, which is not not ideal. I'm not particularly happy about that. Oh God! Somebody made a mess down here as well. You guys just can't help yourselves, can you? Um, this is going to be for polluted water, though, so let's let's do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot somebody. One of you guys peed up this way, didn't you? Um, which means I really need to plug this hole up, and I need to bring a ladder down this way so that you can come down and get uh, fresh water. From here, and put regular water going into that. Still struggling on food. This is getting to be quite tough. It seems like we're constantly going about trying to store, like get food made, and yeah, we're really, really struggling at the moment. But okay, things could have gone better. Today, it's, it's not gone fantastically. We've managed to ruin two food, two uh, water supplies. Wow, our oxygen, our air quality is just dreadful as well. Okay, yeah, the super saucepan is is in dire straits at the moment. It's not looking fantastic for anybody that is living here. Not to mention poor old Nisbet, who's still down here. You're you're going to be there rotting for God knows how long. Oh, you were my apprentice architect as well. 
but you didn't think to not enclose yourself in a CO2 rich environment, did you? That was a rookie mistake, obviously. But I mean, we, we've, we've made some progress, we've made some improvements, we've got the ability to produce better quality food. Um, you're, you're sleeping in a CO2 environment, you really shouldn't be doing that. Um, I'm hoping that as this CO2 eventually kind of works its way down through these, uh, through these ladder shafts, we will start to see the air quality improve a bit more, but uh, things, things are looking dire for, for everybody here at the moment. Yeah, I mean, you can even see just the, the germs filling up the liquid pumps, or the, the liquid pipes. Uh, I, can't, I can't say I like it much. I, I'm really not a fan. But, I mean, the plumbing works. It's the important thing. Um, but we are dealing with a shitload of polluted air. Um, let's have a look at the research. Let's see what we can do. Because I need to f find um, what I'm meant to be using for... Because what I need to do is I need to... Um, no. What I need to do is I need to take the polluted water and I need to put that through into a uh, essentially a thermal generator. I need to boil the water to get rid of all the germs. But I'm not. I've not found the research that that thing falls under. Uh, that's all energy stuff. Where might I find thermal thermal stuff? Because there's no like. There's one thing I can get in uh, this one, distillation. Uh, I can produce clean water from polluted water. So I can take the, the murky colored polluted water and turn it into clean water. But it doesn't get rid of the germs. It still stays infected with germs. Um, I need to use like a thermo... is there a thermo regulator or something to that effect? I, stop! I'm, I'm trying to right click to move myself around this and it's the wrong button. Oh, I think this is one thing I need. Insulated tile. Thermo regulator. Cools the gas pipe through it, but outputs heat in the immediate vicinity. Is that what I'm looking for? I don't know. I might need to look up... Because um, I think this is something that was introduced in like a recent update because I don't remember seeing anything to do with like when I was watching previous playthroughs if you put the polluted water through um, the water sieve it got rid of the germs or it got rid of any germs that were in there um, but that seems to have changed and now I need to find uh, a new way of doing things so what I might do is I might have to just look up a guide just to teach me how I'm meant to go about doing this. Because I'm a little bit lost on how to really sort out my, my clean water supply. Because I don't want to have to make a new reservoir just for, for more clean water. And honestly, I'm running out of water sources. I can't see any more. Oh, wow. Okay. There's actual, like, station construction around this way. Yeah, all I'm seeing is polluted water supplies everywhere else. Um, so I really need to figure something out. And I need all the help I can get with this, so I might have to look up a guide just to help me improve things. Either that, or I'm just going to start a new colony. Uh, I'd like to try and salvage this one where I can. Um, I will set some new um, research, though. Which Which was the one that I wanted to go for? Um, hmm. uh, oh no, it's decontamination I want, which needs the uh, advanced research, so I might go for that first. Uh, then I can get the deodorizer, which allows me to get rid of the polluted oxygen. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how things go in the next episode. Hopefully, I'll be able to make some improvements, and we'll be able to do something to try and improve the health of everyone. But 
For now, I'm going to wrap this episode up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlists on the channel for more Let's Plays on Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chuck me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. happen is that I'm going to shoot you messily in the chest and then have a bastard of a time getting the stain out of the stonework. <laughs>